Support for closed captioning of Weatherworld is provided by the William W. and Helen S. Litke Memorial Fund at Center Foundation. From the Outreach Studios in the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science at Penn State, this is Weatherworld. Good evening and welcome to Weatherworld. I'm your host, Benjamin Yaya, joined here by our forecaster Christian Spillone on this Friday, March 22nd. And Christian, I had my uh, sunroof down when I drove into campus today. How is it looking for the first full week of spring? Yeah, you're going to want to close that sunroof if you're heading out tomorrow, Ben. Lots of precipitation coming into the area and starting the weekend off on a wet note for sure. Oh man, not looking forward to that. Also on tonight's show, it's our Friday forecast frenzy, which means we have the extended forecast and week two trends, which will take us through the Easter holiday. But first, here's Christian with the forecast. Thanks very much, Ben. And yes, a lot of precipitation coming into the area. We'll start off by looking at our temperatures this morning. And this is really um, one of the coldest nights uh, that we'll probably see for quite a while across the area. If we look up in Bradford, you see got down all the way to nine degrees with some uh, Temperatures in that area down in the single digits, so very impressive. And in the teens or 20s across a lot of the rest of the Keystone State. So quite a cold morning, but we do see um, some warmer air that's creeping up into at least parts of the Commonwealth as of this afternoon. Looking across the northern tier, you do see uh, all those cool conditions beginning to um, hang on across those areas. A lot of cold air is dammed in um, across the New England states right now. They could be seeing some wintry weather with this system while we remain mostly on the wet side here in Pennsylvania. But we do see uh, getting close to 60 degrees down in southwestern Pennsylvania, so starting to see a push of warmer air as this system gets going. And it's going to produce a lot of precipitation. And because of that, we have flood watches in effect here for portions of the Delaware and Lehigh Valleys here through Sunday morning. These start tonight as precipitation rolls in. So anywhere from two to three inches or maybe even a little more of precipitation possible in these areas as this system rolls through tomorrow. Satellite and radar right now. Lots of clouds across the area. So precipitation starting to roll into portions of western Pennsylvania. Even a little bit of wintry precipitation where we had the those cooler conditions across the Northwest Plateau and you know, just mainly rain right now where it's warmer in portions of the Pittsburgh metro region, but starting to see some precipitation roll into the area this evening. And this is um, producing quite a mess and it's really going to remain that way as we head over the next 24 hours or so. Why is this happening? Well, we have about two systems that are um, kind of congealing across the eastern seaboard as we make our way through tonight. We have this one system that's located over portions of the Great Lakes, a little bit of a clipper system that produced some snowfall over north central United States, and then this larger broader low pressure system over the southeastern U.S. and Gulf Coast. These are going to meet up and uh, phase off the eastern seaboard and produce a pretty strong low pressure system that's going to bring us this weather um, tonight and into tomorrow. And we can look at our temperatures and see um, pretty impressive cold shot coming in. It's going to bring us one more shot of cooler air as we head um, into Saturday night, but a lot of warmer air coming up across the eastern seaboard right now, stuck in um, portions of the 70s in uh, areas of the southeastern United States right now. Our surface map showing these two systems right now over the eastern United States. These will meet up as we head um, throughout the night tonight. You really see this massive slug of moisture pushing up across the eastern seaboard. Looks like things will become clearer as the system gets out of here by tomorrow night and the front pushes through. And by the time we get all the way into Sunday, that's when we'll see high pressure take over uh, and a much better day on Sunday to end the weekend, although it'll be a rough start on Saturday. So we'll go ahead and now time out uh, the uh, graphics now for our precipitation. A little bit of snow possible in northeastern Pennsylvania this evening, but becoming much wetter with a real deluge of precipitation and warmer conditions as of Saturday morning. This continues to push through by the time we get to Saturday afternoon. A little bit of wintry precipitation on the back end Saturday evening, but cooler air and windy conditions surging into the area by Sunday morning before things begin to warm up on Sunday with a lot more sunshine. Total precipitation, some uh, record daily maximums are possible in terms of rainfall across uh, portions of I-95 here, anywhere from two to three, maybe even a little bit more locally. So for tonight, growing unsettled across the region, heavy rain possible in portions of southeastern and eastern Pennsylvania as these really rainfall conditions flourish. A couple flakes possible across the northern uh, tier of the state, but overall breezy across the area, as growing unsettled as the system comes through. On Saturday, it'll be a soaker, especially east, with really drenching rainfalls, again, anywhere from two or more inches possible in much of eastern Pennsylvania. Some localized flooding possible there. More clearing possible by the midday as this sweeps towards the east 
east, especially by the evening, starting to see some sunshine across the region and maybe some flakes wrapping up on the back side of the system. And on Sunday, it will be a sunnier Sunday. Great way to wrap up the weekend. Soak up the sunshine. Plenty of sunshine. Cold morning, but becoming more seasonal by the afternoon. Temperatures close to 50 degrees in southeastern PA. The extended forecast is up next.